So, Forrest, you know, when we got back from our first vacation around Christmas time, we were really disappointed when we went into the kitchen and didn't see that bending machine that they told us we were going to get with the oatmeal and the hot soup. Remember? Yeah, they've we been a, talking they, about that. They made a big announcement. We're getting right. a vending machine with soup in it. Yeah, soup and hot oh, oatmeal and everything and happens. healthier stuff. And then we went on our second vacation in January. We came back. Still no vending still machine. Mm. I'm all right with this because I'm holding out for this one. The first ever pot dispensing vending machine it's has now debuted in <laughs> Seattle. It's not like you can just put like a $20 bill in and get your weed, though. It's equipped with a facial recognition ca- uh, recognition camera and an ID scanner, which they all know me. All the machines know me, oh, so I on. don't have to. Um, you do have to prove your age and some other information. But if you want to check out the video of it, you can go to our website at WPDH.com because it's there. Yeah. So I, I can see uh, sales at the Halloween stores in uh, Colorado, people getting those old man masks for oh, the facial right? rec- recognition. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably <laughs> probably true. Uh, speaking of Colorado, Colorado's whole marijuana, legal marijuana thing, was actually designed to raise revenue for the state and for the schools, but a state law may actually may put some of that tax money right back to the residents' pockets. Uh, the state constitution limits how much tax money the state can actually take in before it has to give back to the to the well, residents. They're making so much money off a of pot that there's going to be a surplus. You ready for this? It means that uh, Coloradoans, how do you say it? Coloradans? Coloradans? Whatever. I don't think they even People care. of Colorado may each get their own cut of the 50 million dollars wow. in recreational pot taxes that were collected in the first year 50 million dollars they made uh, it's so much that uh the refunds could amount to about 30.5 million which comes to seven dollars and 63 cents per adult in colorado but lawmakers are still deciding whether the refunds will go to everybody or just people who bought marijuana which would make the refunds oh, wow. a whole lot bigger and then they're just going to spend that money on marijuana so and then which will go back into the <laughs> in the schools so it's yeah. it's one of those really good cycles and that's our stoner news for today very right. happy news today for stoner all news. right thank you robin you're welcome <laughs>